Test-driven development, or TDD, is a software development paradigm that reverses the notion that you should first develop code and then test it. Instead, in TDD, you write your tests and then you write code. In this tutorial, we're going to follow the popular red-green refactor TDD methodology to create an adder function. In red-green refactor, red stands for writing a test. This test fails because you haven't actually written any code yet. In the green part of red-green refactor, you write code that passes your tests and all previous tests you've written. Don't try to be clever, just write code so your tests pass. Finally, refactor. There are many reasons you might want to refactor your code, such as efficiency, coding style, and readability. While you refactor, you can make sure your code still passes all your tests. You repeat this cycle until your functionality is done. So let's get started. We are going to use the popular jest testing package. So let's add jest. We can say yarn add, and we want to add it as a dev dependency, not a production dependency. Uh, jest. Great, so if we look at package.json, we can see our dev dependency of Jest has been added. Now we're going to want to create a couple files. Let's touch adder.js. That's where our adder function is going to live. And then we're also going to add adder.test.js. And just a note, the .test.js file extension is going to be uh, recognized automatically by Jest. This is configurable, but I figure let's just use the settings out of the box. So from adder.js, let's just go ahead and module exports equals null. Uh, for now, we're just doing this so that we have something to import into our test. Let's start out in our test file by importing our adder. We can say const adder equals require adder. And now we can describe the test that we want to execute. We are going to first say that the overall functionality or function that we are describing is adder. And now we can add our different test cases. So what do we know about adder? We know that it should add two numbers. And what we can do now is expect that adder of one and two will be three. In our command line, let's run yarn jest to see this test in action. And we failed. So we can see that adder should add two numbers fails and we get type error, adder is not a function. And that's good. We have now successfully done the red aspect of red, green, clean. Our test fails. So let's go back to adder.js and make our test pass. So rather than module exporting null, let's create a function called adder that takes two uh, numbers, a and b, and we simply return a plus b. And now we can export adder. Great. And so now, again, let's run yarn jest. And our test passes. We are now at the green phase of red, green, clean, because we can now say that adder one and adder of one and two does indeed equal three. So at this point, we would think about refactoring. Maybe we don't think there's much to refactor here, but we, we could. Uh, it might turn out that our team's style is to use arrow functions and implicit returns. So we might say, well, actually, we want to say const adder equals a and b, and then we have an implicit return. And this shouldn't affect the functionality. And the nice thing about test-driven development is that we can rerun our test now and make sure that despite changing our code, we still pass. And so that's the refactor aspect of red, green refactor. So let's go a little further here. It turns out we should actually be able to take one number or three numbers. So let's add some more tests. It should return a sole input. And let's go ahead and describe what that would look like expect adder of five to be 
5. Furthermore, it should add three numbers. And we can describe that. Expect adder of 1, 2, 3 to be 6. Great. Let's run our tests. And we now have two failing tests. For our two new tests, we can see we're failing. For just having one number, we get a not a number output. And for adding three numbers, we only have added the first two because we haven't specified what to do with the third. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and look at our adder function and say, what's the minimum amount that we can do here to uh, make this pass all of our tests? So perhaps we are going to say that we will now take three variables and we will return a, b, and c. And this seems like it might work for the, uh, the third test we added. So let's try that out. Let's do, do yarn jest again. And we're still failing two, but we can see that the two we fail is, uh, it's not actually the last two, it's now the first and uh, second ones because we are now getting not a number for our first test. Okay, this is good. So what we've seen here is that we have sort of this regression issue where our first test that we wrote doesn't pass. And this is actually a good thing to see because as we develop further features, uh, we can keep testing our old requirements to make sure that uh, nothing breaks as we go forth. So let's try a simple fix here. Let's say B or zero and C or zero. Let's run yarn jest. Great, now we have all three of our tests passing again. But uh, perhaps we also need to make sure that if no numbers are passed to it, it should return zero. Should return zero if no numbers are passed. And again, we can describe this. Expect adder with no numbers to be zero. And let's run yarn jest again. Uh, our new test now fails. We get not a number. So we go back to adder and we say, okay, why don't we follow this same paradigm and say a or zero, b or zero plus c or zero. We can say yarn jest. Great, so that's good. Uh, and then we have one final criteria that's thrown our way. It should add any number of arguments. Okay, so to test this out, perhaps we will say expect adder one, two, three, four, five, six to be 21. Yarn jest. And our new one fails as expected because we are just adding the first three numbers. So uh, at this point, we're not uh, too enthused about trying to uh, add up, uh, create more variables and add them up and use this kind of funky or. So let's just think about uh, kind of rewriting this thing all together. We're going to use the rest operator and take nums. And within our adder, we are going to return and we are going to use a reduce. So nums reduce total, and this will take a function total and the current number. And what we're going to re return is total plus number. And we're going to start out at zero. Great. And so let's go ahead and yarn jest. 
And the beauty here is this is a relatively large refactor of this functionality. And we see that all of our previous tests, including our any number of arguments tests, has passed. And so this is great. We can refactor with confidence and see that all of our tests pass. One last refactor we're going to do here is because our team likes implicit returns, let's uh, go ahead and just use an implicit return. And we can run our tests again. And again, they all pass.